Hey everyone, Brandon from the A-Team. Here's a brief overview of the Aperture F10 Fresnel, the first 10-inch Fresnel lens modifier for high-powered Bowens mount LEDs. We did a lot of polling in our user groups and in various online communities, asking people what they preferred, an 8-inch Fresnel or a 10-inch Fresnel. With overwhelming response, many people requested a 10-inch Fresnel to match the size of their existing 5Ks, the reasoning being that a larger Fresnel makes a softer hard light. By combining a Fresnel with a single-source LED that is able to produce crisp shadows, the Fresnel is still able to produce a focusable, punchy hard light with a smooth fall. Off. However, the science dictates that the larger the light source is, the softer the light. That's the reason why some cinematographers like to hard light faces with lights like tungsten 5Ks. It creates a nice blend of the two factors. The diameter on the front lens of the Aperture F10 Fresnel matches the Airy 250mm or 9.8 inch standard found on a fixture like the Airy T5, a form factor that many cinematographers and gaffers are already familiar with. This instantly increases the size and punch of a single source Bowens mount LED significantly. While we're still looking at the front of the F10 Fresnel, we can see that the F10 Fresnel uses a drop-in barn door system like many existing lighting technicians will be used to, coming from HMI and tungsten lights. This provides a sturdier and more professional attachment mechanism than clamp-on barn doors that are more suited for a smaller interface. To open the top latch that holds the barn doors in place, just lift it up and turn it to the right or left. The F10 barn doors are sold separately from the F10 Fresnel. Moving back to the features of the Fresnel, the F10 has a spot flood range of 15 degrees to 45 degrees. When attached onto the LS600D Pro in full 15 degree spot, the combination can produce a blinding over 224,000 lux at one meter or over 29,300 lux at a more reasonable distance of three meters. And finally, at the back of the Fresnel, we have our airflow vents that allow heat to escape from the Fresnel. By facing backwards and using an alternating interlacing pattern, they also minimize excessive light leaks. This is something that we've learned from designing multiple modifiers, knowing that these features are important for use on any film set. The F10 Fresnel also has a rear optical focusing element, which is unique to Aperture's fixtures, a component that we first introduced with the Fresnel 2X, used in the collimation of light in the spotlight mount, and now in the F10 Fresnel. This element allows the Fresnel to truly maximize its output from the COB lights like the 600D Pro particularly with the size of its LED chipset. The Bowens mount on the F10 Fresnel is also recessed into itself. This allows the design to remain as compact as possible or as compact as the 10-inch Fresnel can be. It minimizes the depth of the modifier and also positions the COB perfectly in place for focusing the Fresnel element. Saving on the depth is important not only for storage, but also when used on set as well, reducing the imbalance and forward weight of the modifier. This recessed design pairs nicely with the curved yoke of the LS600D Pro, which was designed to be used with larger modifiers. This, however, does mean that while the F10 Fresnel is, of course, compatible with our other Bowens mount lights, like the LSC 300D2, the 300X, and the 120D2, due to their straight yokes, if you do want to tilt the combinations downward, you will need some extra grip equipment to assist you, like a C-stand arm. But luckily, that should be fairly common on any film set. Lastly, the F10 Fresnel also comes with a nice padded carrying bag like the Fresnel 2X, so you can easily transport the modifier to your next film set. And that's an introduction to the F10 Fresnel, a first of its kind Bowens mount modifier.